Let's go get this freaking director's cut, bro. All we gotta do is turn the pack a punch on and get in there and grab it. I'm excited to get director's cut. That's what I'm excited for. Oh, yep. We'll make this teleporter. We're literally about to figure it out right now. Boom. Here's pack a punch. Let's see what happens. Director's cut. Oh my. The symbols are gone. What happens? How does this work? How do you get director's cut? Is there something I need to do? I wonder if I need to press on the symbols in the middle. Do I need to shoot it? Do I shoot this? <gasps> Whoa. I've held X and that happened. That's the soul keys. Okay, what the f I did not I didn't expect that. Oh. I recognized those as soon as I saw that. That's director's cut, right? Okay, so apparently I've done it. That's how you unlock director's cut. And apparently I could have done that after I beat in the Beast from Beyond Easter Egg. Like I could have done it that game and went in there and did it. I just didn't realize it. But now I have it. So now all I got to do is go back into the freaking menu and I'm good to go. See, there's the red star and it says toggle director's cut with an RB. Director's cut. Okay. For every single map that I'm doing director's cut on, I'm going to play as the celebrity character. That was my plan before I even started doing this series. Left, right, left, up, down. There's the Hoff. Let's go. Oh my God. Here we go. Director's cut on Spaceland. This is my first time ever using director's cut. Here we freaking go. Oh, and I'm playing as the Hoff. Let's go. We're doing the director's cut Easter eggs, bro. And then we're going to try and beat Mephistopheles. This is going to be crazy. Oh, I got all the perks and I got 25k points. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, his melee is different too. That's going to be so cool playing as all these characters. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm sitting here and look at my points. See, this, this ain't not playing director's cut for the first time. I don't have not even like done anything. I can just start zooming. Open this map up, all of it, right now. So yeah, on this part of the video, I pretty much just went around the entire map, opening up all the doors that I needed to open. I turned on all the power switches. I linked all the teleporters for Pack-A-Punch. I grabbed all the Steadicom parts, and then I went to go upgrade my Kindles. Let's go ahead and Pack-A-Punch this. I don't want to double Pack-A-Punch it. I just want to Pack-A-Punch it once. Oh my God, bro. Literally just get everything set up on round one. I'm glad I brought my um, scope dollars because I am going to need more money if I want to try to get the alien blaster. So yeah, on this part of the video, I mainly did a bunch of little things that I think are important for you guys to know. So let me go ahead and explain to you guys what I did. First off, I kept on hitting the magic wheel until it decided to move. And then I had the idea of getting the M1 and putting it in my meal kick slot so that I could use it for scope dollars while also not letting it take up an important spot. After that, I decided to go ahead and use my temporal increase card because I had planned on using it with my Black Friday card to help me get the alien blasters quickly. And and by the way, the temporal increase card lasts three rounds, so I'll definitely get my Black Friday card in time. After I used the card, I got some scope dollar kills, and one of the zombies ended up dropping a red coin. I then used that red coin in this machine right here to go ahead and start making a boom box so that I could use it for the boss fight. After that, I went and hit the magic wheel until I was out of money, and then I decided to end the round. I'm gonna punch it. Oh my god, that freaking animation, bro. <laughs> boom. We need to wait for the Hoff to give me the um, SETICOM. Yep, there it is. Round two. Is he is he over here? Is he over here? Yes, he is. He just has to be behind a door that I don't have open. We can get it open, though. We just need to get some kills with our scope dollars. Oh, my God. Okay, there was all of them except for one. That's what we needed. Screw it, we don't need that. We just need to get it out of the box. So try to get another red, try to get a boom box for the boss fight. Open this door. Let's go grab the SETICOM, figure out where we need to defend it and get this defended. Is it right here? Nope. Boom, there we go, defend it. Let's go, easy peasy. You didn't get in my SETICOM. They will start running, I think, yep. Just like always, it'll start spawning at a bunch of them and they will be running. Okay, they're not dying in one shot, so their health is different. We honestly just need to sit right here and wait for them to come over here and then blow them up. This is so we save ammo. 
They can't even touch it, bro. It, it literally lost no health. Oh. Oh yeah, the purple glow is from a temporal gift, is what that is. Okay, now we got that done. Now we just gotta go to the next round to do the next one. So after I ended the round, I pretty much just got a bunch of scope dollars kills until there was one zombie left. And then I went to go hit the magic wheel to see if I can get lucky and get some alien blasters. All right, now let's go use this Black Friday card. Hit this mystery box, this magic wheel like crazy. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh my God, that was scary. I, don't, I gotta make sure not to freaking slide. Here we go, boys. Let's freaking hit the box like crazy. I got one, and it's Pack-a-Punch, I can tell by the way it looks. I kept on hitting the magic wheel until it finally moved, and then I went to go use my red coin that I had just gotten from my scope dollars kills to go ahead and finish the boom box. Here's the boom box. I'll save that for later. I kept on hitting the magic wheel, and then when I was just about to run out of money, I ended up getting this. <gasps> we got one! The shredder. I might just keep what I got. You know, I don't really have to get the other ones, but I'll hit it just in case I do. Right now, we're gonna keep what we got though. We got the Faye Smelter and the Shredder, but the upgraded versions. So they're way better than before. Citycom location. It is down here. Okay, here we go. We got this. Use this fire to block off the hallways. That's what the face melter does. Oh my god, I'm keeping having the I'm keep having the walk around the, the freaking city com. Get out of my way, boy. You ain't touching my city com. Get off my city con, boy. No. I'm just worried about running out of ammo. With my on my candle. If we do though, I will start spamming the f out of my pistol. You're not touching this bit. Get off my city com. Oh my god. And I got my scratch post card. I, I was gonna use that for one of the city coms if I need it. Where's the max ammo? Is it over here? Hello, Max. Oh, there it is. About to say, bro, you don't just. You, you're not gonna do that to me are you oh my god punch oh yeah we got slappy taffy so we can just one punch him nice. now we could do the last city com this round i really wanted that discord but i will stick with what i got if i have to i could still do the boss fight with it might as well do the boss fight on a low round too also let's use these coins Try to get more boom boxes. Yeah, I'm using the blue coin right here because this is part of the boss fight arena. And I'm trying to get the boom box built right there. Let's go ahead and find that steady calm location right now. Oh, it's right here. Let's try to defend it. This one's usually really easy, so let's go. Did you just say Hoffalicious? They literally can't cross that bridge right now. And they don't come from behind you on this city comp, so that's perfect. They're literally not going to be able to do anything. Still got 50 seconds.
And where's the max ammo? Why are the zombies running? It's round four. Now I'm wondering where my max ammo is. Where'd it go? There's supposed to be max ammo just right there. What the heck, bro? If I need to, I'll just get some tickets and I'll just get the refill out of the arcade. But that's the last one done. Now we can do the boss fight whenever we get the speaker. We really didn't get a f max ammo. Either that or spawn somewhere where I couldn't see it. Let's see if we get lucky with this box hits. Also, I'm gonna see where the Hoff is. Let's hit this box. Is the Hoff back here? No. That's a, that's the discord. Give me that sh Oh my god, I didn't expect to get that lucky. Okay, we got what we needed. He's not here, so he's still by the freaking water fountains. Now with the um, speaker, the speaker's a little funky on how it works. Sometimes he'll let you know that he's ready, sometimes he won't. Sometimes you just gotta check and see if it's ready or not. Master Knight at your service. I got something fresh coming at you. Okay, I'll just keep checking every round. I'm actually gonna go ahead and grab this. Boys, you remember, you remember. That's all I gotta say. On this part of the video, I pretty much just kept on going through rounds, waiting for the Hoff to give me the speaker. While I was doing this, I also ended up getting the coins that I needed to finish the boom box in the middle. So there is a boom box sitting there waiting to be used, if I ever need it in the boss fight. But yeah, it took me all the way until round seven for him to finally give it to me. I wonder if he'll give me the speaker now. I don't wanna mess with him because I don't know if I'm f***ing it up or not, but. Okay, see, you just gotta keep trying. He gave it to me this time, let's go. Now I can start the boss fight whenever I'm ready. I'm trying to build barriers and see if I can get enough points for a double pack, but I don't think so. See, it just stopped giving me points right there. I don't need double pack, but I could go one more round and get it if I wanted to, just to have it. I might honestly just say fucking and do it. Let's do it. This round we'll do the boss fight. Place down these parts. So when I'm ready, I can go ahead and do it. I'll place all of them except for one, and then I'll place the last one when I'm ready. During this round, I literally just kept on punching all the zombies until there was one left, and then I went to double pack my Kindle. Let's go ahead and double pack a punch. I just really wanted to do this this video. I wanted to double pack a punch, bro. Don't have to do no Easter egg. I can go ahead and just do it, and I can use a double pack a punch weapon on the alien. But we already have pack a punch alien blasters, which you can't do that without the alien fuses. So here we go. Now we got fire and brimstone is what it's called now. And we can actually look at the double pack a punch camo. The camo is pretty cool, bro. It's just colorful and it fits the vibe of the map too. Now we just gotta start this boss fight. Um, yep, hold up. I'm gonna go take a piss real quick. I gotta take a piss. Here we go. We got this Easter egg set up fast as f Oh yeah, there's the UFO. What color is it? I didn't even get to see. Oh, red, blue, yellow, I think. Yeah, so it's green, red, blue, yellow. All right, we just gotta remember that and then we gotta memorize which light is which. So we know which ones we need to press in which order. Easy peasy. So it's Kepler and then you go to the front and then Journey and then the pack. So yeah, see green's right there. Since we're crossing the bridge, I gotta wait again because we're not close enough. But now we know what the colors are for sure. I don't know if I said this yet, but the perks that I have are permanent, just like it would be if you did the Ghost and Skulls Easter egg. Green, red, yellow, blue, okay. This one right here and then go around in a circle. Green, red, yellow, blue. There it's blinking. Okay, let's go. Now I just gotta do the next one. Gotta see what it gives me this time. Yellow, blue, green. Okay, so it's yellow, blue, green, red. So you would go from the back and then you hit, you hit the blue, then run over there to get green and then do the front one. Okay, now I know. Polar Peak, then Journey, then Kepler, then the front. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I'm just memorizing right now. As soon as it hits like the third one, for the second one, start killing them. Get rid of them. Yellow, blue, green, red, let's go. This one right here. Yellow, blue, and then this one. Green, and then red. Boom, there's blinking again one more time. This step right here, the light step, used to be really hard for me, but now it's really easy because now I know you can kill the zombies and then go ahead and do it and they won't spawn back in. I used to think that if you tried to kill the zombies that it would spawn more in and that it would just make things harder. But no, it's actually the opposite way. So 
green, yellow, whatever this last color is, I'll tell us what the first one is, red. So it's blue, green, yellow, red. Blue, green, yellow, red. So Journey, Kepler, and then back and front. Yep, blue. Green. Yep, it's that code. It's that code. Blue, green, yellow, red. As soon as it turns white, let's go. Blue. Green. Yellow. And then the front one. Red. It's blinking. We got it. Now we just gotta kill these clowns. That's why we got the shredder. We could also use our freaking candles. Go crazy. These clowns up. I didn't even hear the freaking Willard Wilder say anything. He's supposed to say something and then the clown starts spawning. Oh, there's gas grenades. I'll take those. Because why not? Where is. There he is. Come up. Oh, sh. Run. Oh, sh. Damn. That was dumb of me to try and do that. I was trying to just go ahead and start shooting him, but the zombies are everywhere. Oh my god, he's right there. Okay, see, I got all my perks, though. I just gotta grab my lost and found, and then grab up and atoms. Watch out for this alien. Give me that. And also, my pistol fires slower because I have it upgraded. Because you don't have to reload, it regenerates. Oh, I lost my shredder. Luckily, I just did that step, though. I also learned that you only do damage to the alien if you shoot it in its collar. And you can actually down him pretty quickly, but you have to hit him in his collar. And the alien pistols down him the fastest. There he goes. Very the freaking knife him. There, I did it. Oh my god. I was trying to place that boombox and it wouldn't place down. Okay, grab this other one. And then put... Put the coin in. Just in case we need another one. We're gonna need a green, red, red, or a green, green, blue. Now I'll just start f***ing it up. I think I might have just did a lot of damage right there. He just teleported down there. Oh, never mind. I thought maybe he might have been... Oh, another green coin. And there's a max ammo. You alien, I'm going around and getting this max ammo. Taking my time here. Trying to hit him right in the collar. So yeah, basically you only do damage to him if you hit him in the collar. And that's because he has like that shield on. That's why you got a knife the alien fuses off of him. So his shield turns off. And then you can just hit him wherever once his shields are gone. Here we go. That, I'm not trying to lose that. Okay, now come up. F you, alien. Now I just gotta shoot him until he dies. He's dead. Boom! Freaking, let's go! And there's the alien fuses, even though I don't need them. Why would it give me the alien fuses? What, what, isn't it supposed to give you a talisman? Oh wait, never mind. we gotta do the, we gotta destroy the UFO. Okay, shoot that one, shoot that one, shoot that one, and shoot that one. Now I just gotta wait for it to go over the freaking pack a punch. Trying to kill these zombies too. I did not know there was a horde of them right there. Come on, UFO, come over here. Oh my god, that little ball is waiting for me to walk over there. Is he coming over here? Oh shit. I'm trying to get behind this. There's a bunch of little UFO balls over there. Little Shoot the thing, he's above it. Get his ass. Come on. We did it. Okay, let's go. 
Boom! Let's go! Oh my god! Okay, now what about saying something? <gasps> Is that my talisman right there? No, the soul keys right here. You're supposed to collect talismans at the end of these Easter eggs for director's cut. I don't know why the soul key's there. <gasps> oh shit, there it is. Pick up one piece of the talisman is what it says. Hold up, I don't want to just pick it up yet. I want to like actually look at it. Oh my god. And it has the symbol that is for this Easter egg, doesn't it? For the soul key. And you have all the other symbols around it. Do you see that? I want to say these are the symbols for the um, Easter eggs all just in a circle. I'm picking it up. You've obtained, you obtained a talisman. You've obtained a talisman. That's Spaceland done. Rave, Shaolin, Attack, and the Beast. We got to do all of those. And then we got to beat Mephistopheles. And if we don't beat him when we do the Beast from Beyond, we got to do the Beast from Beyond again just to get back into that boss fight. And I'm telling you, I'm going to try my ass off. But I know it's going to be hard. I know it's going to take me a lot of tries to beat him. I don't even know how to fight him yet. I still got to practice that. And I was going to make a whole video where I just sit there and practice fighting Mephistopheles until I finally learn how to beat him. And then I was going to try and beat him legitimately and if I fail then I'll just make a video where I actually do beat him le legitimately it'll just take me a while to make that video just because of the fact that I know it could take me a while to beat him because he's not easy to beat at all oh now it shows a symbol right there like the star showing that I've beaten it see I gotta do rage shadow and attack and the beast I like how there's a progress tracker like that that's cool and eventually it will have all five stars and then you also unlock a calling card for beating space Lennon director's cut oh and the, the star on the screen is now has a gold star in it like if I go to another map see the stars empty that's cool 